Hey, Kayvon, it's math time. Let's start with our song. It's math time, it's math time, it's math, it's math, it's math time. Math meaning is a place to be. Come on, everyone, let's count with me. Zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn it around. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, last off. Great, I'm so excited to share our math lesson with you. We're gonna do something similar like we did yesterday, and we're gonna learn some more words to describe how many objects that we have. All right, so I'm gonna share a screen with you again. Great, so we're gonna practice using the words fewer than, as same as, and more than. So that's how we describe some things. So repeat after me, fewer than, good, as, same as, good, and more than. Great, so we're gonna look, up, um, look at some times where there might be fewer than objects, the same, uh, the same amount as the other objects, or more than. Okay, so here's the bears again. They all want to sit in a chair. So we're gonna see if we have enough. We have more than, fewer than, or the same as. Okay, so how many bears are there? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. There are five bears. Let's count the chairs. One, two, three, four. There are four chairs. Okay, so now each bear is going to try to sit in a chair. So one bear, two bear, three bear, four bear. The fifth bear doesn't have a chair. So there are fewer chairs than bears. Does that make sense? So everyone repeat after me. There are fewer chairs than bears. Great, so that means it's less than, like we learned, um, or a smaller amount than we have of the bears. Great, so let's go on. So this question says, are there fewer bears or chairs? What did we say? There are fewer chairs than bears. I mean, there's less than or a smaller amount of chairs than bears. Great, so now the bears went out to go fishing. So first we're gonna count how many bears there are. And each bear, I guess, caught a fish. So we're gonna count the bears, then the fish. Let's count the bears. One, two, three. There's three bears. One, two, three. There are three fish. So is there more or less or fewer than? No, there's the same amount as fish as bears. So each bear gets to eat a fish. That bear gets to eat that one, so we have the same amount. So repeat after me, we have the same amount of bears and fish. Great. It says there is the same amount of bears as fish. Great. Okay, so now the bears went fishing again. So we're going to compare how many bears and fish again. So how many bears are there? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. There are five bears. One, two, three, four. There are four fish. Hmm. So does you think each bear is going to be able to eat a fish? Let's see. So that bear will eat that one. We're drawing the line to the bear that's gonna eat what fish. And this bear doesn't get a fish because there are fewer fish than bears. Say it with me. There are fewer bears, or fewer fish, sorry, than bears. Great. Okay, now we're gonna learn a new word. And we're gonna practice our other ones. Um, we are at a lemonade stand. So we have to make sure we have the right amount of cups and straws. So let's see how many cups we have. One, two, three, 
four cups. Let's see how many straws we have. One, two, three. Do we have enough straws for each cup? Also, because we have more cups than straws. Say it with me. We have more cups than straws. Great. Or we could say that we have less straws than cups or fewer straws than cups. Great, we're gonna do that one more time. Okay, let's count our cups. One, two, three cups. Let's count our straws. One, two, three, four. We have four straws and three cups. So we have more straws than cups. So we could maybe get more cups, right? Or we have fewer cups than straws. Great, great. keep practicing um, these words and you can practice them with your weekly sheet. I will see you tomorrow.